Hello everyone, your instructor here at John Medulla with another screencast. This one about just the very beginnings of using ActionScript. Uh, we'll start with the most simplest script, it's called uh, Stop. And why would I want to use Stop? Well, as you can see here, I have you know a ball layer, it starts here, it's going to go down here and turn pink, and I have shape tweened it. And if I were to play this, uh, Control enter you can see it just goes over and over and over again. But again, by default, as you probably know, Flash loops. So, what I want to happen Let's just say in this instance for my animation, what I want to happen is a stop command. So that when it gets pink and gets to the corner, it just holds put. So something else can happen maybe. So I'm going to close this. And in here, the number of ways to do this, I'm just going to show you the way that I like to do it. I'm going to make a new layer. I'm going to call that layer Actions. And now, what often might happen is you might only get one frame. If that's the case, you want to go to the end, wherever you want it to stop, I should say. Right-click and insert a blank keyframe. Not a keyframe, just a blank keyframe. Because you're not going to put anything physical. No, there's going to be no objects or colors in this layer, just action script. Insert a blank keyframe. Once I've got that, I'm going to go to Window, Actions. Hit F9 on the keyboard. And you can see already my actions open, so I'll open that up. And it's okay that it covers things up. Um, we don't really need to see the graphics at this point. We already know what it's going to look like. Uh, but you can certainly maneuver this around uh, as you see fit. And over here, I'm just going to simply type in STOP, left and right parentheses, and semicolon. And hold up, I'm trying to make this a little bit bigger so it's easier to see. All right, to do that, I just go over here into my drop down, go to preferences, number of different preferences, and maybe I'll just set my code to something like 12. And I'll hit OK. You can choose which font you want, and all things like that. And I'll hit OK. Do that I can see there, there it is, a little bit bigger, a little easier to read. You can configure however you want to configure it. Super small to fit more lines of code or super big to see individual characters easier. Um, you can also change the font. I don't really like this font. I would choose something more like, uh, where's Consolas? There we go. There. All right, so now it's easy to see that these are parentheses. And now that I've got that, what I have to do, so no code that you do, no changes to the code, will take effect until you save it. So I'm going to go to File, Save This File. I already saved it once. And now when I test this movie, you'll see that it just goes and stops. You'll notice that when you first add, start adding some code, especially a few lines of code, it's going to take a little bit longer to draw that um, preview, that Swift. So just give it some time. You didn't do anything wrong. It's just not only does it have to crunch visuals, and now it's a crunch code. Just to, you know, time everything just right. So it just takes more time for that to happen. Again, the more code you have, the more frames and more events, the longer it's going to take. So you can see again, and if I want to, I can go to uh, play it again, and it's just going to go and it's going to stop. All right. You might think, well, that's really silly, but as you can see in the upcoming video, the stop commands are so essential to controlling your animation. All right, especially when you start having things like mouse events and buttons and all this and that. So that's a simple stop command. You can use it anywhere. So to prove that, if I were to take this frame and I moved it to, let's say, here, all right? And now I'm going to control enter, oops, and then save it. Control enter again. It just stops right there in time. So you don't always just put the stop command, you know, at the end of a tween or whatever. You can put it wherever you want to do. Just remember that everything's going to stop. Everything, okay? If that stop is on the main timeline, which it is, it's going to stop everything, okay, from playing in the main timeline. Or anything that's on the main timeline, I should say, will stop if you have a stop in the main timeline. So stop command control what's going on at that level. In this case, it's on the main timeline, so it stops everything that's on the main timeline, like this shape tween. If you have a stop command somewhere else, like in a movie clip or something like that, it'll stop it at that point. All right, so that's how we do that. And upcoming videos will happen, and we'll see... Um, you know, how you can use these stop commands. You can see right there, so it stopped right here because I have the action script, you know, partway through the animation. But if I hit enter again, it's going to keep playing, and because the loop is the default, remember, it's going to go through the end and then come back around until it hits that stop again. Alright? So instead of thinking of your timeline just like a long strip with mile markers along the way, you can almost think of your timeline like a circle with stop signs along the way. So it's going to go all the way around the circle, kind of like a roundabout, until it gets to another stop sign. Alright, that's all I got. More videos to come. Goodbye.